Welcome back. Right now I'm trying to figure out this position in a game I played recently where I made an, an inaccuracy and then a blunder and everything went wrong. My opponent won shortly thereafter. Um, I, unlike some of my previous videos, I'm not going to start at the beginning and take you up to this point. I'm just uh, going to put the link to the game in the description. And if you'd like to follow out the rest, feel free. Okay, right here, my opponent has just moved their knight out of the way of this bishop. And I'm pretty sure I understood what was happening here is uh, from here, the knight did not guard this pawn. and uh, But now that the knight's out of the way, the knight not only guards the pawn where it is, but it's backed up by the bishop. Um, I didn't think they were going to try to break through here just because I have two pieces guarding the d4 square. Um, so if they broke through and I took the pawn, then they would lose the... Uh, lose the bishop, and I would have a centrally placed bishop pointed right down there uh, along this very strong diagonal. So I thought they were just moving this to add a layer of protection to this pawn, and I was wrong. Um, I get that now. I, I figured they're trying to doubly protect this pawn here, and then maybe, maybe they were thinking about a little push right here so they would be hitting this with extra pieces from the C side and the E side, hitting the D4 pawn. Whoops, what what happened there? That's not what happened. I don't know what goes on with these computers sometimes. I, I clicked the wrong thing. Um, my plan was they're ex they were expecting me to take and then they were gonna be able to take back with one of those pieces, but I wasn't gonna take. My thought was uh, this file isn't open, but what if I put a rook on it and then opened it? And my idea was to play whatever they played because again, I thought maybe they were gonna push these, but that required the B pawn to come forward first. So with my rook here, if they pushed the B pawn, then I was going to push my D pawn forward, which would lock this pawn in place, their E pawn. And then if they took and took, which they wouldn't do because that would open my rook up to their queen. So again, I thought, boop, maybe this, this, and they would push that and our center would be locked. And I would, I would have been okay with that. I do fairly well in locked positions, com at least compared to many of the opponents that I've played. So that I was going to be fine with that. So I played, uh, but the computer says queen to c2, but in the, sh the quick review, it, it said this was my best move. Knight captures, and that's what I didn't understand when I saw that. Why, why would I do this? They have two pieces guarding the pawn that we just established that. And it says they would take my knight. But then I would take it back. Okay, because my bishop guards that square too. That's what I didn't see. My bishop can't see that square right now. But it's like a, I guess a, I don't know, some kind of force behind that pawn that once the pawn moves, the, the bishop now can see that square. I, that's what I didn't see there. That makes sense. But still, I would end up with a, with a damaged pawn structure, wouldn't I? And now I've got this, uh, it's, I guess it's not isolated because I still have my F pawn. Um, but this one's certainly isolated. These are doubled. I didn't like that very much. And then, I, yeah, well, rook to d eight's one of their moves. I saw that coming, and then I would have to move my queen, probably. Yeah, it says I would go here. But now, it doesn't say this is my best move anymore. It says queen to c2 is my best move, and that I don't understand. I understand that even less, I think, than this. What does that do? Because it says if I moved there, they would go ahead and take this pawn. And we would have a big trade there. And then... And then their knight would replace the pawn. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It also says my third best move is to take the pawn, which I get. And then they would play knight to a6 or knight to c5. Okay, a centrally placed knight makes sense, but now queen c queen c2 again. That I don't get. What does it do? Because I'm already guarding this, right? From where, where I sit with two pieces. I'm not guarding that square. From there, 
the knight challenges my rook, which I would need to move, and then my bishop's undefended. Okay, I get that. From here, my queen controls more than it does from back here where it is. From back here, my queen patrols this diagonal and protects right here next to it. But from up there, it it's uh, better placed. It hits that pawn, this undefended square, and it continues to guard those things. So it adds protection to that pawn, to this square, and to the bishop. Okay, I do get queen to c2. But again, that's not what happened. That was just what would happen if I had taken the pawn. So let's back up, because I didn't take the pawn. I already said, I think, that I moved rook to c1. The computer said that's inaccurate. But again, my idea was to try to play for something like this and, and discover attack on their queen. Well, my opponent didn't fall for that. They played their best move here. Almost all my advantage is gone. They played this, which I didn't think they were going to because, again, I have more defenders on that square, but they did. That was their best move. And I. And now here I blundered and not only lost all that advantage, but the entire game because there's a huge difference, and that's what I can't figure out. What is the huge difference between taking with these two pieces? Notice that only one of them is listed. Bishop captures d4 is my top move that maintains a, a mild, very slight, but noticeable advantage. c5 would, would give us an equal position. And my next best move is knight to g5, which gives my opponent the advantage. This isn't listed there at all. In fact, playing this takes away like four points of advantage. And that's what I played. Look at that. Minus three. There's a huge difference between these two. My idea was that they wouldn't take back because they want their bishop. The whole idea of Fian Caddoing this bishop is to patrol these uh, dark squares right here around the king and, and to control, at some point, the entire diagonal. Um, I don't have a piece right now that can blockade this pawn. If I could, like if I had a, a pawn right here, I could just blockade that pawn and then this bishop would become mostly useless other than defending right there next to the king. But I thought if I took here, they would take, because my bishop's doing the same thing. And if I took back with the knight, uh, yeah, essentially a placed knight is okay too, but I want my bishop on this as much as they do. So I was thinking if I took here, they wouldn't take back, they would do something else. And then I would be able to defend this bishop somehow, either with a rook or possibly a queen. And then my bishop would be able to, to attack them at some point. So that's why I took with the knight. And apparently that's really bad thinking because it, th it throws the game. And my opponent found their best move here. The only move that doesn't give the ad advantage back to me. And that's c5. And now my opponent has two attackers on this square. And I only have one. And it says my best move is to play knight to f5. Really, that's my best move, is to just give up that knight and the bishop at the same time. But you know, okay, I guess I get it. Maybe I do get why knight, the knight capturing on d4 was, was so much worse. Because this pawn attacks the knight, and anywhere I move the knight, they get my bishop for free. Whereas if I had taken with the bishop, which I didn't, but if I had taken with the bishop, if they didn't take back here and trade off their bishops, then I'm definitely going to trade off the bishops. You'll notice in the, in the lines listed right up here, the first one is for them to take my bishop and trade them off. All the other one, and all the every other line that it shows, I'm going to take their bishop and trade it off right here. If they play knight to a6, which is their second best move, I'm going to take their bishop. If they play queen to c7, which is their third best move, I'm going to take their bishop and trade off over here. And the pawn move doesn't matter like it did with the knight because I'm going to trade off the bishop. Okay. I see why it's better. That's all I was looking for. Um, I was about to run through this anyway and decided to click record, which was kind of the whole idea of this channel in the first place. 
is that when they take that, uh, of course, during the game, I have no idea if I have an advantage or not, but, but taking here is a problem because they can attack a piece that can't attack back. My knight cannot attack that pawn, it can't attack that bishop, and it can't run away without giving up my bishop. Whereas if I take with my bishop, doesn't matter what else they do, I'm taking their bishop. And if they take mine now, I take back, and I have a centrally placed knight. And now it doesn't matter if they play this, because I'm not giving up a bishop over here now. c5 isn't even listed as one of their top moves. So if they play it, I just take this somewhere else. Uh, knight to c2, it says, is fine. Knight to e2 is fine. Knight to b5 is... Oh, okay. I actually like knight to b5. It's anchored in over there. Um... Doesn't it doesn't even really matter? Knight to b5 actually turns out to be the best one, and knight to e2. I, you know, to be honest, I probably would have put it here. How bad would that have been? Kind of bad, apparently, but still plus one or so. Not any worse than I started off. But because I took with the knight in this position, now I'm minus three, and I never recovered because they played that, and I didn't play the best response to that. <laughs> And they took, and I realized I've got nothing, so I resigned. I'm getting to the point where when I'm playing an opponent like this, that I, I do resign a lot more than I used to, just especially when I've just lost a piece. Now all they have to, I mean, now they can push this, and I, I, I'm down a piece. If I try to take back, I, I'm down a piece. It doesn't matter. Okay, so next time, next time, I will take with the bishop. Because I will see that. I'll see that even if they try to threaten it here, I can trade off. And if they take me, I can take back. And then when they push the pawn, I can just get out of the way. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, maybe, Hopefully this was instructive to you too. It's this one position, one move, lost me the game.